the most exciting opportunity of dressing a table is personalizing it and have the table reflect who you are in one way or another. I'm Sandy Chilowich and my greatest passion are placemats. We are textile designers first and foremost. We design everything in New York City and then everything is woven in the South and we have our own factory. To me, I really look at a table as a canvas and that's a perfect backdrop for things that would bring more dimension to it. I love dressing tables. I think people really appreciate walking into a room and seeing that it's not just the food you're gonna serve them, but that you created this environment for them. I feel like the way to do that is to bring personal things. For instance, taking um, different kinds of receptacles to put your salt and pepper in. Receptacles for flowers can be very, very personal without spending a lot of money, or a small bowl, shallow amount of water, and, and, and stems. The first dream I had was, was I a fine artist, and I brought my work to a lot of galleries in New York, and nobody wanted it except one guy had me come in, and he looked at my work, and he said very, very, very respectfully, he said, you know, your work is very commercial. Have you thought of going into commercial work? He was right in retrospect. Even though that work, they were collages, there was a commercial element to it. I have a long history of uh, starting businesses. I co-founded Hue, H-U-E, it's the hosiery company in 78. When I left, I had this idea of making a different product. It was a placemat, which is ironic because I never grew up with placemats, but it was just self-explanatory, like, oh, this would be a perfect solution for a table. And it was important for me to, to design and make things that I could really sell to a bigger audience. So it really starts with the yarn as the base. And the yarn is made you know, from scratch for every weave that we do. We have a small loom uh, in, our, in our design studio. And we make um, small woven samples that are, that are small that become kind of a proof of concept, whether the weaving construction works, is it pretty, can it actually be made with an industrial loom? But in general, we just everything we do is exclusive to us. I feel with there are so many people here who um, are so talented and they inspire me and I just, I feel like the whole business does better with that talent around me. The business has evolved tremendously off of placemats with my husband's involvement who, you know, created a factory so that we are pretty much vertical and also developing all these backings so that our material could be available for so many other applications besides placemats. The thing that most resonates for me is how emotional people sometimes get about, about this product. And I think the reason it is, is that we are bringing really thoughtful, creative into a, prod a very humble product. It's a sensual product too, and you use it in a, in a daily way. So I think there's an emotional connection and I see that consistently. And the other thing is people telling me, I've been using that same placemat for God knows how many years. They do last forever. I think it's that combination, that emotional connection with something beautiful and the fact that this is not precious. You don't have to iron it. You don't have to send it to the dry cleaner. This is something you can maintain easily and it's still really beautiful.